Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Emily and this is Magical Moments with M. If you're new, I am going to be showing you in this video my hair care routine. It's kind of changed over the years. I used to have super long hair and then I cut it and now it's about medium length. You've seen it in a couple other videos if you've been watching my videos. So I'm gonna show you how I take care of it. So if you're interested in this video, then give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. It would be awesome if you did. And I'm going to start off with showing you this bucket. <laughs> it has all of my hair care products that I use. So the first thing that I do, obviously, is I take it out of this ponytail. I use giant scrunchies because regular hair ties don't do anything for my hair, they just snap. And then what I'll do, just bring it over one shoulder. I use a wet brush. I need to clean it, so I apologize if you see the amount of hair that is in this thing. And what I do is I start brushing it from the bottom because it makes it so that you lose as little hair as possible without pulling at your head too bad. So I just brush it like this until it's almost at my roots. Then I'll put it on the other side and get these little front pieces that I might have missed. My hair tangles up so easy because it is very thick. My hair itself, the strands are not very thick at all. They're not very coarse, but I have a lot of them. So it makes my hair very heavy. It's also wavy to straight depending on the day. It's like a loose wave. So it will definitely look staticky at first. And when it's wet, you'll see it, it dries straight, which is weird. But yeah, I just brush it until it's nice and smooth. So, on days where I don't wash my hair, I'm gonna show you that first. I use this dry shampoo, it's from Aveda. They call it Shampure. I think now it's Sham Powder. They changed the name of it and the formula, but this will last forever and it's just a dry shampoo. I'm not gonna show you how I use it right now. I'll show you in a couple days. I'm gonna insert a clip on how I use it here. Okay, so I'm back a couple days later. I just went on a nice little walk outside, so I'm a little bit sweaty, but I'm about to take a body shower and I'm going to use my dry shampoo by Aveda. It's the Shampure Dry Shampoo. It's really easy to use. It comes in this little squeezy tube. It doesn't have a spray like most dry shampoos do, but you probably know how to use a dry shampoo, but this stuff is a little different. So again, I have a mirror right here, which is why I'm looking down but untwist the cap so that you can see the little sprayer right here. And then you section your hair off and you squeeze it like this. There it goes. And you just rub it in a little bit. Not a whole lot. These top parts tend to get really oily. And what I do like to do too, when I do this, is let it sit. I used to find that dry shampoo never really worked on my hair. I thought it was because my hair is thick and it just held oil really well to the point where dry shampoo didn't do anything. But it turns out that you just need to use it right. So it also smells really good, this stuff does. But you just spray it all around. Try not to shake it up in your hair too much yet. After I section it off, I just like to lift my hair and squeeze in these under parts here. Not really much to it. And then I let it sit for about five minutes. And then what I'll do is I'll rub it in with my hands and then it's good to go. But yeah, I really like this. It's not my favorite and it's a little pricey. So a good alternative is any sort of dry shampoo by the company Batiste. I don't have any with me because this is small, but dry shampoo is like a holy grail of mine. Because I have so much hair, buildup tends to happen very fast. So especially because I have like dandruff problems and my hair has got dandruff issues, but also gets oily very fast because of the amount of hair that I have on my head. So this is nice for the whole oily situation. It doesn't really help with my dandruff. I have a couple of products in here that I'm gonna show you in a minute on what I do for dandruff. 
but I really like this stuff. Um, they're very high quality, very sophisticated smelling. They smell like a good perfume. They're very good, especially the Shampure line. Okay, so something that I do for dandruff treatment is something called the Promisana treatment. So Aveda sells this line. This isn't sponsored, by the way. I just like their products. They sell this line of dandruff treatment products. So the things that you can buy are they have this exfoliating brush the bristles in it i don't know if you can tell but they're like rounded they don't have an actual tip to them so the good thing about this is that you can exfoliate your head so bad and it won't tangle your hair so what i'm going to do with this is take it in sections so i like to do the front because like the crown of my head is where most of my dandruff is so i'll just section it off and then take this brush and just scratch it and this loosens up all of the stuck dandruff and it just loosens everything up really nicely. I like to do this dry because the dandruff is dry. It's not like wet and soaked. So it makes it easier to get the dandruff off of your scalp because when you wash it, the dandruff will wash out. So I'll just go around, try and section it off as much as possible. But again, I have so much hair that it's hard to section it off properly but I'll section off like the front. <laughs> Probably looks so weird doing this. I'll just really exfoliate my head, especially right here, because I have so much hair there. So I like to really spend time back here and just really exfoliate. And I do clean this about every other time that I use it, this brush, because it does literally get dandruff stuck inside i do this treatment probably once every two weeks and then my hairstylist is the one that sells all of these products she'll do it about maybe once to twice a year when i go in for like hair trims and stuff i normally go in for haircuts about every two months it just gets all the split ends off so that it grows i know it sounds backwards cutting it makes it grow but the reason why that happens is because if your hair is splitting at the bottom, the longer it stays split, the more it breaks up the shaft of the hair. And then eventually it'll get to here and then it won't grow anymore because it's split here. So there's not any length left and then you're gonna have to cut it. But if you cut off the split ends before they start like splitting up the shaft, they'll actually grow longer because it's just a straight stick of hair. And the good thing about this brush too is that even though you can't use it with heat because it's plastic, you can still use it to detangle your hair after showering, which is nice. I'll just go around my head, exfoliate in little circles. I'm gonna show you my brush. It's after about three uses. <laughs> so it collects a lot of dandruff and you can just wash it with soap and water in the sink and it's brand new. And you can also see there's barely any hair in here and the hair that I have in here is from when I actually brush my hair with it, like normal. It doesn't pull out your hair, it doesn't tangle it. I really like this brush. Um, I'm shedding on my legs. So if I'm brushing at myself, it's because I have hair all over me. <laughs> One problem with having long thick hair is that you shed. So the second thing that I do for my scalp treatment and the Promise on a line, they have this thing called Purifying Scalp Cleanser. So it comes with this little nozzle thing and you turn it and you turn it upside down and you split your hair into sections and squeeze it on, rub it in, it'll suds up a little bit and then you wash it off in the shower. So I'm gonna show you how I do this in just a second. All right, so we're in the bathroom now, but I'm going to show you what I do next. So I use, again, this Purifying Scalp Cleanser. So you just turn it so that it opens. It has a little open close sign on it. And then I like to section up here again because this is where most of my problem is. So I will section it off like this and then I'll take it and just squeeze it out onto my scalp here. And then I'll rub it in like this. You can hear the suds. <laughs> and then it sets up a little bit and then I just section off all the way across the top of my head mostly. Because I have dandruff issues.
issues, my scalp gets very itchy very fast. So there are some parts that have like scabbed over. So I have to be careful not to rub them too bad because I've actually itched myself to where it bleeds because I don't know if it's dry or not. <laughs> so there are a couple of scabs up here that I have to be careful of. Once I get the top of my head, you can't really see anything right now, but I will section off the top here as if I was doing like a half ponytail. It doesn't have to be neat though because we're only sectioning it off for this purpose, but I will just take it, wrap it around my finger so that's out of the way. And do the same thing with the part that I made in the back of my head. The back of my head does get a lot of dandruff. So I will really make sure that this gets nice and covered. We'll do that and then we'll do another section about at my ear line. We'll section it off again so that there's a part right there. I'll show you what it looks like this time. I'll just squeeze it out like this and then just rub it in. It's a very cooling sensation and it feels very nice. <laughs> And then what I'll do is just massage it really well and then we'll let it sit for about a minute. So while we're doing that, I'm going to show you the things that I use in the shower, especially on a hair care day. So the first thing that I do is shampoo. So I use Function of Beauty, their custom hair care. I, like I said, this isn't sponsored, so I just really, really love their products. But this is a custom hair care brand, and they also do body care and skin care. So if you want something that's custom to you, that's a great brand to use. But I'll shampoo using Function of Beauty's custom shampoo. And then on days where I'm doing all of my routine, my whole hair care routine, I will use this hair mask by Hask. It's the Argan Oil Repairing Deep Conditioner. It's very nice, also smells really good. I use this about every other hair wash. I wash my hair anytime between two and three times a week, depending on my showers and everything. But this really helps with softening your hair and just making it very shiny and I really love it. So I'll use this and then on days where I don't use this, I will use the matching conditioner that comes with my shampoo. So I generally shampoo twice any day just because I feel like it gives me the best clean. I will use half a pump the first time just to like make sure all of the surface oil is off and then I'll use a full pump to really deep clean my hair afterward. Those are things that I use in the shower. So I'm going to take a shower and then I will show you the things that I use afterward. So it's been about half an hour. What I like to do after I shower is put my hair up in this little turvy twist. You can get them like on Amazon or at Ulta. They're pretty cheap. So I like to do that just to let it sort of sit, marinate a little bit more. This isn't one of the ones that helps your hair dry fast, but it keeps your hair out of your face. So I'm gonna take this out, throw this in my wash. So we are all washed and everything. Mask is done. I normally leave the mask in. I do my hair first in the shower and then I do everything else and then I'll rinse the mask out so it can marinate on my hair as much as possible. But this is what we're looking like now before brushing it or anything. I'm looking at a mirror that's like underneath. <laughs> but it's kind of wavy, but once I comb it out, it'll be very straight. I like to use this comb by, um, part of the name has rubbed off. They make combs similar to this by like wet brush and a bunch of other things you can get them for like a couple bucks. But what I do, like I did with my regular hairbrush, is I'll brush from the bottom up so that it pulls as little hair out as possible. And I do this with kind of a light hand because wet hair 
is very damage prone. I learned this fun fact. I used to work in a hair salon, so I learned all of these things from my hairstylist. I used to be her assistant, so I was doing all of the hair washing and the appointment making and all of that. So she taught me a lot, and this was one of the things. So you use a light hand when you're brushing out wet hair. Brushing it in general is just bad for it, so use a wide tooth comb if possible. Um, and if you have a brush that works with wet hair, like wet brush, that would probably be a good substitute for a comb. But I like to use a comb and you don't pull as much hair out, which is great. Okay, so the third and final step of that Promisana treatment for dandruff is this um, protective scalp concentrate. You do this after washing it. So it comes in this little dropper thing. It looks like this. It's not much in it right now, but it'll just squeeze out. I probably need to get another one of those because I use a lot of it. I'll use it even if I'm not using the other Promisana part of the treatment. Same process. I'll just section off my hair, take the dropper, and then you just squeeze it out and rub it in. This stuff doesn't foam up, obviously. It's just like a scalp oil. And I just do this. I normally only do this on the top of my head, just because that's generally where most of the dandruff is. This stuff is also very cooling, which feels good after a giant scalp detox. That's basically all that I put it on. Um, whenever I get this done in the hair salon with the full treatment, she'll put it around my whole head of hair, <laughs> but I only do it up top because that's where it needs it the most. So after I do all of my dandruff treatment, especially if I am showering at night like I am now. Right now it is 9.25 p.m. So I don't like to go to bed with my hair wet. My hair doesn't dry very fast. So what I like to do before drying it is use a couple products. My first product that I use is this stuff by Aveda. It's called the Be Curly Curl Enhancer. I know I don't have curly hair, but I do have waves and it's very thick. So this stuff is sort of like a mousse. So it comes out like that, looks like that. I don't take a whole lot of it. I like to just put this in my ends because it sort of defines what waves I do have. So I put one dollop on one side and one on the other side. I'm trying to use this stuff up because as I've gotten older, my hair has gotten less curly and more on the straight side. So I probably won't repurchase it, but I'll just put whatever I have left on my hands throughout the rest of my hair. The next product that I like to use is by Veda. Again, it's their damage control spray. Um, I don't think they sell this anymore. They sell something similar though. I have it too. It's this speed of light blow dry spray that I'll use after this, but I will just spray this. It acts as like a heat protectant and also sort of a detangler. So it's nice for blow drying your hair, but I'll just spray this everywhere. It also smells really good. <laughs> I like to really drench my hair in this. <laughs> and then I'll take my comb just to distribute the product. Something that I also like to use, depending on the day, I'll switch this out with this stuff by Hask. It's their coconut oil 5-in-1 leave-in spray. It says nourishes and detangles. So on days where my hair is very frizzy or very just tangled and in a mess, I will use this stuff. It also smells so good. But I'm trying to use up this before I use this. But this does smell really good and it's a good alternative for this. This is a little more expensive than this is. I'll have both of the products linked um, in my description. I'll have the whole website for Aveda as well as Function of Beauty and Hask. Hask you can find at Ulta. Their stuff is like 10 bucks. It's really nice quality for the price. And then I go in with this Speed of Light spray. Again, I like to really drench my hair in this because I have so much hair that it takes forever for my hair to dry, even if, you know, blow drying it because it's so dense. So I will really drench my hair in this stuff, especially the underneath parts. They tend to stay wet the longest. 
and comb through it. And now we are ready to blow dry. So the blow dryer that I like to use is by Conair. It's very old, <laughs> but I find that it works really well. My mom has a Revlon one that doesn't work, I don't think quite as well. It works well for her hair because her hair is very fine. So what I like to do in conjunction with this, especially if I'm trying to dry it to where it's basically entirely dry, sometimes I will just dry the thickest part of my hair here if it's early enough, but the rest of my hair air dry so that up here doesn't get super super dandruffy because sometimes what will happen if you go to bed with wet hair is your scalp will like sour almost like if you leave wet laundry in the wash and it smells kind of bad it does the same sort of thing with your hair and it makes your hair very like crunchy and dry and it's just not the vibe like it's not the vibe because it's so late i'm going to fully dry my hair so i'm going to show you how i do that what i like to do is section off my hair from the top down so i will use this giant claw clip this is by scunsy you can find it at like ulta or the drugstore wherever you can find scunsy products it's probably there so i will take most of my hair from like the top of my ear back Get all of these front pieces. I do have layers in my hair, so sometimes doing this is a bit of a challenge. Put it up in like this little like bell bun. And then I take my regular brush, my wet brush, and dry my hair with this. So once it's pretty much dry, um, the underparts don't need to be entirely dry because it'll get dried every single time I let more hair down. So what I'm going to do is let a little bit more hair down from this and take a smaller section, probably at like around my temples is normally where I like to take it from. Pin it up with my claw clip like this. That's actually kind of cute if it was smoothed out. <laughs> and then I just do the same process, except this time I'm going to split my hair in half. Make sure it's all smoothed out. And then we repeat the process. And then I take it like right above my eyebrows and I'll like draw a line and take it here. So I'll take just the top of my head. And then we just do the same process until everything is dry. So I'm gonna speed this part up. Everything is almost dry to the point where I feel like it will dry by the time I go to bed. I like to really focus up here because I can feel up here is still a little bit damp and I don't want it to sour. So I'm going to really make sure that this is dry. speed of light stuff cuts down my dry time in like half it definitely 
definitely helps. If you have thick hair and it takes hours for your hair to dry, try it. It's a game changer. I just brush it, smooth it out a little bit, and then the last thing that I like to do once it's basically dry is use this hair serum by Mystic. It's their Hydro Serum. It can be used wet or dry, but I like to use it dry. I got this in like a gift bag and I want to get the full version of it because I really like it. It helps with smoothing your hair down. It just looks like this. I don't take much of it, but I like to put this where my hair gets frizzy. And so I like to put it not on my roots, but close to them. Just run it through the top of my hair like this. And it just really smooths out those flyaways. I have very frizzy flyaway hair too, especially in the summertime. And this really helps to calm it down. Hi guys, Editing M here. I've been editing this video today and I realized that I never did an outro to this video, so I'm going to do it now. If you enjoy learning how I take care of my hair, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel to see more lifestyle slash college content, maybe a little bit of self-care content in there. I'm working on that now, so stay tuned for that. So don't forget to subscribe, like I said, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Can't